Hey everyone, Chicago Bears Daily here, back with another video. My name is Eric, and today training camp finally started. Oh my god, it feels like forever since we've had any sort of kind of like real football, but in reality, it's only been like a month. Um, now, there were some standouts today, uh, day one of camp. Uh, most notably, in my opinion, uh, I've been saying it from the start, uh, keep it on record. Valus Jones Jr., he's going to be that guy. Um, there was a kind of news clip about him where he made a break. He, he actually broke Kyler Gordon's ankles, and he, he made, like, an inside route. He made, like, a move, broke him, and went inside and scored a touchdown. Um, and th to me, that struck me as kind of gold. That is something, like, you love to see from your rookie 25-year-old wide receiver we took the chance on him. I mean, obviously Gordon is a rookie, I mean, but in, it's a learning experience for both of them. Uh, Valus Jones got the better of him that time. If you're a cornerback, Kyler Gordon, it's going to happen. Um, so he's going to learn from that and he's going to do that. So iron sharpens iron. To me, I'm going to be a big Valus Jones fan. So I'd love to see that. Um, other news, I think, uh, so... Let's see, we have that Jaquan Brisker signing, which is awesome. You'd love to see that. Roquan is still holding out, but I'm pretty, pretty confident that they will get a deal done. Um, the Bears would be, I would be, I think everybody would be pissed. Polls would be on some some people's lists before the season even starts if we didn't get a deal done with Roquan. And they put Roquan on the physically unable to perform list and... A lot of people were f concerned about that, myself included. Um, but once you realize that it's just to save him from a $50,000 a day fine, you heard that right. If veterans, Roquan's a veteran at this point, if veterans don't show up to camp and they're able to play, it's $50,000 every time, every day that they don't show up. So they put him on that list to protect his money. And that's, that's the only reason. I, he's going to be healthy to go. Once he gets his money, oh, oh, he's oh, all of a sudden he's healthy to play. So he's he's gonna get his money. I'm kind of concerned how long we're waiting because I feel like the longer we wait, the more we'll have to pay him to kind of like make him make him believe that we want him. If that makes any sense. Um, so I want to. I'm kind of anxious to get a deal done. I know it will, but I want to get it done soon. Um, more kind of news that I heard. It's uh. Tevin Jenkins, he is kind of falling out of the rotation at uh, offensive line. And it's not saying that he's not going to be that guy for the offensive line, but he's kind of like a rotational piece right now. Um, don't forget, he wasn't drafted by this. He wasn't drafted by polls. So he's, you know, it, I like Tevin Jenkins, but he's injury prone and he we haven't really seen a lot from him. Um, so... Truly, to be honest, with after those new pickups, especially that we just got at guard and I think tackle, um, he's gonna he's gonna have to maybe work his way in. He's gonna have to sit a little bit, um, and I think he's gonna may, maybe have to develop a little bit more, which I have no problem with. Um, to be honest, I'm just excited that Bears football is back. Um, we really, really need to see Roquan get that deal done. And another cool thing to see was Robert Quinn. Uh, he's He's back. He wants to play as a bear. He wants to actually retire as a bear. And I think that's going to be the right move. I uh, I don't think, to be honest, even if we were looking to trade him, even come, after coming off that monster season, I think it was, what, 18, 18 and a half sacks. Even after coming off that, if you take consider, if you consider his age, he's a little bit on the older side. So if we trade him, it's, we're going to get, people are going to say that we're fleeced. We're going to get fleeced because if we trade him truly, it's going to be for a late round pick. We're not going to get much for him um, because teams will lowball us because he's old. So, I mean, at this point, I and Robert Quinn is becoming a fan favorite. You know, he's, he's finding a home in Chicago. So it's something that we kind of want him to stay. We want him to be here. So to see him excited to come to training camp and play, it excites me too. Now, We'll, we'll see how it goes uh, going into the next few days of training camp here as to wrap up the week. Um, I'm excited to see how it progresses from here. It was a, it's, I'm just, ex I'm stoked to have some football back. 
um, in our lives. It feels uh, it feels like a long time coming. That means pre season's around the corner. That means the regular season's around the corner. And who knows what's gonna happen. So we'll see what we'll see how it goes. I'm excited to see this coaching staff develop this team and get this get everyone together. Um, feel free to drop a comment if you have an opinion on training camp on the Bears, what you've seen so far, what you're looking forward to. Uh, leave a like and hit that subscribe button. We appreciate the support. And all we're going to be doing is talking about the Bears going forward from the past, from the present to the future. It's only Bears talk. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you in the next video.